I'm up here at Snickers Gap on the approach trail to the AT and we're gonna leave a car here and drive around to Ashby Gap and hike the roller coaster today. So, see you on the trail. We got the last parking space in this parking lot. And there's the trail. This is what, 15 miles? 14, 15. 14 or 15 miles, and there's a lot of ups and downs on this. So, it should be a tiring day. Creek crossing here right off the bat. Really nice weather for this today. You can hear Route 50 down there. And here is the AT Junction. We go north. All right, on the AT. Blue skies, what could be better? Look at this big ash tree and look at the widow maker hanging in it. See that limb just hanging there? Woo! A big one. This is a real pretty stand of poplar here. Most of them are not broken off too. Pretty cool. Filming all these little creek crossings so we can see how many there are. Basically, this trail is on the side of the mountain near the top, but it dips in and out of all these little hollows, and that's how it got its name the roller coaster. It's neat to see the property lines on that um, PATC track that the Glasser cabin is on. I totally forgot when I was in my 20s, I was actually on a hotshot crew at the time. I did some volunteer work for the trail crew and they had not located those lines. So I had experience doing that kind of work and um, the volunteered to go out there and find the lines, flagged everything, found the corners, I think, from what I remember, and then flagged everything in and uh, in return for a free stay at the cabin. That was a long time ago. I wanna say 2002, probably. Um, so 20 years, 21 years, jeez. I thought about going down to the cabin, but I didn't. 
and I wonder if Brian went down there. He likes to stay in those cabins, might have been wanting to scope it out. But I have not seen him since I left the car. So, but I have been really moseying. I'm totally taking it easy this morning. Enjoying this nice weather and this great tread, which, like I said, has been pretty favorable so far. Here's another little crossing. Here's the main branch. Gorgeous wall. Those way down there. I walked over here to Rod Hollow Shelter. It's a little bit off the trail. It's a nice one. It's got a loft in it, but this cooking area is the best part about it. And there's a campsite down there. And then there's the privy over there. And I think I might use it. No wonder it's been so easy. I wasn't on the roller coaster yet. This is kind of ridiculous. Hiker warning about the roller coaster, really. Whatever. The trail is up on top of the ridge for a little bit here, past Rod Hollow Shelter. Rocky up here.
hold this thing stiff up. Mm, not the Myron Glasser cabin, was it? That was the Sam Moore shelter. I stayed at that one years ago as well. Another nice one with a um, cooking eating area. It's nice. There was a ton of people there at Bear's Den. I guess that's the designated sunset watching spot. But those were the rocks right behind Bear's Den. We're almost done with this hike. Made it out before dark. <laughs> 